High Fidelity Nursing Simulation is a state-of-the-art teaching method that offers students a chance to learn in a safe environment. This project is a federal grant uh, under the Department of Education's Title V program. This sort of simulation provides students with as close to a real-life experience as you can get. In the nursing and respiratory care programs, it has focused very heavily on what is known as patient care simulation technology. High fidelity, high tech mannequins that can mimic almost every human body function. What we have created here at Pima Community College is a state-of-the-art simulation center that includes mannequins that are simulated such as real patients. They can talk, they can breathe, they have a blood pressure, they have a pulse. Simulation is really their first hands-on experience with taking care of a patient. And even if it's a sim man, we have them treat that, patient, that, that mannequin as though it's a real person. The students respond to complex situations by relating a lot of the previously learned knowledge. Some of the skills that they utilize are communication skills, psychomotor skills, problem solving skills, patient teaching. And we're incorporating the latest in technology from our bronchoscopy cart that we used in our simulation to again the, the wonderful facilities that we have here, the Sim Lab and, and all the modern technology that goes with it. Every one of our nursing students goes through at least one clinical day uh, in this laboratory rather than in a hospital setting. It is a way of deepening their preclinical skills, giving them high competence when they leave this setting and go into the hospital. It's hands-on and I feel like it prepares you for the real world, like actually being in the hospital or wherever you're going to work. It prepares you for that and it, you realize the mistakes that you did on the mannequin and prepares you not to do them on a real person. Even though it is a mannequin, you no longer view it as a piece of plastic. That is your patient and you take that simulation very, very seriously. Most of the students actually say that they were very surprised at how realistic the bronchoscopy simulation was. They actually were talking to the mannequin and they said it got to the point where it was like the mannequin really was a person. We have a lab component to all of our lectures um, where we actually do didactic and clinical application and we've integrated simulation both for our first and our second year students in that they're actually performing things that they will be doing on real patients in real life. Students who have done this today are going to feel a lot better prepared and feel a lot more relaxed when they do this for the first time in real life. Today I, I came in here and Someone was uh, short of breath and it wasn't until like I administered the right medications and the patient felt better that I felt like I made a difference in the patient. And once I go to the hospital, that's going to you know, be a good experience because I'll be able to do that with a real patient. So we're going all the way down into the lungs and, and giving the students a real feel for what it's like to assist in a bronchoscopy. Uh, we're also having the students interact with the high fidelity mannequins um, just as they would a patient. When they're in there, we expect them to demonstrate skills in teamwork. We expect them to demonstrate good communication with the healthcare team as well as family members. We offer students an opportunity to discuss things with the doctor. Students can be the team leader. They can be in charge of the airway, doing compressions, establishing IV access, hooking them up to the monitor, providing the drugs. There's two nurses. Um, we also have a respiratory tech that comes in sometimes. We have family members in the room with the patients. There might be a dietitian that comes in and out of the room. Um, but there's always two nurses in the scenario. That way we're kind of thinking together as one. We have students also who are in there functioning as family members. Um, their role is to basically act as a family member would and, and, and interact with the students. The third role is of observer and that student is sitting kind of on the side during the simulation and making a big effort to take notes so that they can give feedback to the students once we go into the debrief. Okay, well thank you, good observation. I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. And debriefing allows for introspection. And the, and the students, when they perform as RNs, uh, discuss what they did incorrectly, what they could change to make the situation better. And the peer observers will also add 
uh, with constructive criticism and it's all done again in a safe environment and it's done very respectfully and it's a learning process for all of them. Students and teachers tell you what you did right, what you did wrong, and it helps you realize things that you probably wouldn't have realized before. It's like from reading textbooks and stuff like that. Things, doing the simulation is like hands-on. So to have your peers in there watching you and to be able to watch it back on a video um, is really helpful to kind of help you perfect your technique. You know, the pressure of having the cameras and your peers watching you, it's like it puts extra stress on you. At the beginning it's a bad thing, but then you get used to it and you know, you kind of forget that they're there and you just want to do your job because the main focus becomes the Sims robot. You actually look at it as a patient you and you want to help it. The four C's that we talk about in simulation are critical thinking, which in nursing education means that the nurses are able to collect data, analyze it, synthesize different parts of the patient's scenario, the patient's um, assessment findings, what the patient's telling them, what the family member's telling them, putting it all together and coming up with the appropriate individualized plan of care for the patient. There's a critical thinking aspect that is very important to nursing and the simulation helps you in that aspect. It, it really has you thinking on your toes and being a nurse, whereas in clinical setting you're just practicing underneath a nurse. Nurses cannot work independently in today's healthcare environment. There's a heavy emphasis on collaboration, not only with the physician and the patient, but other members of the team. We never do anything alone. We always work as a team, and we have to impress that concept on them while they're here in school, and what better way to do it than in simulation. When we teach students about clinical judgment, we are asking them to synthesize an enormous amount of information. And it is often the nurse's clinical judgment that's going to make a big difference in that patient's outcome. In a setting like this, where the environment is as close to a hospital environment as you can get, with live people asking questions and you know behaving in a way that you might expect a real patient to behave, I think that provides a really valuable experience. You cannot read that sort of stuff in a book. The value of doing a simulation inside a place where you can, you, you're allowed to make these decisions that are either going to be life-threatening, that you might make a mistake. These are things you can do here that you can't do in the real world. We're taking advantage of the high fidelity mannequins, taking advantage of the great facilities here and all the processes of simulation. And we've gotten great feedback from the students on it. What you learn in skills, what you learn in lecture and clinicals, and right here you can put all that together, the theory, and it's a great experience, I think. To be able to actually go into a simulation and, and do it on, you know, in real time, in real life with your team is, is a whole other aspect to the learning process, I think, that's really beneficial. But once you get in there, and once you start becoming a nurse, you step into that role and it almost like it, it's a fade to black. I mean, you're now a nurse. Nothing but a feeling of great pride in the improvements that this has generated in the learning experience of our students. And then to extend that, great pride in what that means for our community. Since I've been involved in simulation this last semester, I see the value in it and I think it's just wonderful. We can see it in their eyes, you can see it on their face when their light bulbs go off, and oh my gosh, all of a sudden theory and practical application are coming together. Nursing is an amazing program. All of us are learning, the staff, the techs, you know, all of us and, and being able to put it all together under one umbrella and try it out, it's a great experience.